my father died when I was six years old. So I understood death at the age. Of, I guess it struck me in a way I didn't know. And and then you know I had a you know high tempered and I guess the depression that I didn't know I was really in. I, mean, I was bullied a lot when I was kids and you, know, you four eyed and all that. My mother put a lot into me and my sisters and she always told us don't give up and you can always do anything. Keep going and it worked. Dorchester. Growing up, it was it was beautiful back then. We had a lot of fun when we some kick the can, football, mid eighties, crack. Came to Boston. But the the crack really changed the whole world up. If you became an addict of that, that spiraled me down to the to the bottom of the pot. Around that time, I got married the first time, probably around 1985. I was um, working on my first album, 12 Inch. See, after the second marriage, then homelessness started. 10 years fly by on the street if you don't think just hanging out and really doing nothing, you think you were having fun, 10 years go by, in and out of jail, you catch a case, you do a little year in jail, you come out, you hang out on the street, you go to the revolving door. When I was sentenced on the case that I just finished sermon on, came out in 2010, the judge looked at my record. I thought my record was bad, but he looked at it, he said, I'm looking at your record, Mr. Higginbottom. It's really not that bad. And he says, and you're very smart man. And that struck me. I'm like, how can he say I'm a smart man? And he goes, and why don't you just go upstate, upgrade your mind, learn a few things, and you come back out and don't go back to jail because I know you can do it. And you can move in today. You have your keys, and you can start moving in as soon as you want to, okay? Try to fight the tears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am so happy for you. Oh, I'll bet you my, 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 uh, my kids would be happy for me, too. Something I thought I'd never be able to do. I'm glad I got here to do it. Never thought I'd, I had the willpower to do it. The plan here today is to pick up some furniture for his brand new unit. Um, so I'm excited. I know you're excited, but definitely, definitely, of course. Yeah, you know. Um, so he needs everything. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. There you go. Good, good, good. This is very nice. After putting this, you know, the footsteps to get this far, uh, this is where it all pays off. I had to put in that work and to hold it, to keep it, and never let it go. Some gifts you don't get back again. <laughs>